Bro, I don't understand what this company wants with their game. I just released a video saying that the company doesn't care and doesn't need to change the game and we got a leak that Genshin Impact is not the main game now. But today we got a new leak saying that Genshin Impact is getting a new endgame content in 4.7 and it's something related to the Abyss, which is something they said they will not change because it gives anxiety. Quick question, what's 4 plus 4? WRONG! This video is sponsored by lootbar.gg If you wanna top up in Honkai Star at Genshin with cheaper prices only using your UID, Lootbar is the best place. Because Lootbar is highly secure, fast, and has so many discounts. For example, if you wanna buy 6k Genesis Crystal, you have to buy them for $100 in Genshin, but here you buy them for $85. You can even save more than $100 if you buy some bigger bundles. And it's recharging through the official channel Channels with Hoyaverse, so even if you have a double top up bonus, you will get it. Make sure to click on the link in the description if you want to get more discounts and make your account at lootbar.gg. Anyway, back to the video. 4.7 comes out at the start of June. That's almost the time where Withering Waves comes out. Let's put people that defend Hoyaverse aside. What does Hoyaverse think about Genshin Impact? Do, do they really think that the game isn't a priority? Because this is not the first time that they do something like that. They did that almost two years ago with Tower of Fantasy. When people started hyping the game, and before two months of the game coming, they released the best cinematic in Genshin Impact, which is the Fatui cinematic. It's like, oh guys, look, we have a story now. We're gonna talk about the main thing that you want. I mean, that's crazy. I saw so many people talking about this new leak. So many people saying this leaker is trustworthy. I don't want to talk about leaks and show a lot of things, but this is actually concerning. Like, what does Hoyaverse really think about the game? If they want to save the game and they want to kill the hype, are they, like, afraid of Withering Waves? Oh, so you're not happy because they're gonna add Endgame? What a hypocrite. I fucking knew it, guys. Look at me. I'm so bad. Shut the fuck up. I'm happy about adding Endgame in Genshin, but I would like to see something changing in Genshin Impact. The Endgame content is always something good. If Withering Waves actually succeeds, we're gonna see some good changes in Genshin Impact. But if we take Hoyaverse intentions aside we're just playing Genshin right I think adding endgame in Genshin is always good more content for players will never be something bad maybe it's finally the step in the right direction maybe if people like this edition if it's actually cool I do hope that so many people play this and maybe Hoyaverse will finally see a positive response for the first time from players and probably make more endgame who knows yeah because imagine I just fucking love the game guys like I'm just one of you I, I wanna play Genshin Impact. I don't know what these people mean by stop playing Hoyaverse game. No, I just wanna play the game and enjoy it. That's why I wanted to improve. Oh yeah, you can't understand that. You were retard. Because I wanna talk to the people that are so excited about this. Please? You have to understand, it's saying that something with Abyss is coming. So it might be not a new Abyss. Maybe the Abyss is just changing now. Maybe they saw how in Hawkeye Star Rail you just need one chamber and then go to the next phase and do one chamber so they might just change the floors now which I'm gonna be real this will make Abyss a little better it will not take too much time it might be a brand new one but you have to keep this in mind anyway by the way this leak doesn't go in depth it just says new type of Abyss in the next version is real one room per floor with interesting new spin some will hate it some will like it thankfully devs are adding some endgame content to actually being competitive <laughs> You might ask me then what are the endgame modes that you guys want? Okay, I'm not using a script now. I'm just gonna think about any game mode and things. Okay, I can think now about, for example, social system. I know it's not an MMO, guys, but AFK Journey just did this. It's not an MMO. They have a mode that you can play solo and kill some monsters. Same things can happen with your team. And the members of the guild also can do that. They can make another abyss, but it will be just co-op with another person just one just one okay it's not an mmo don't cry Genshin. just one they can also for example add some rare bosses that do spawn in the map and they can for example give you some loot this loot is a new currency that you can use to buy an artifact with some stat that you like like the modeling resin in honkai star Isle. speaking of honkai star Isle, they can also add something like the simulated universe it's not gonna be that hard to add it challenging boss fights that are just fun just like the hologram in weathering waves 
waves. I, I don't know, bro. They, they can add so many things. It's not that hard. They made $70 million on a dry patch the last month. But look, this also does prove that this company can be moved by some type of pressure. It might actually not only be because of weathering waves, but to quote a great man, as if a YouTube video is gonna do anything about it. Yeah, right. Dumb bitch.